Yo, we're flipping out. We're so, this I'm is so cool for the, us. I'm hanging out with the fellas. Are you kidding me? This is Are so cool, man. Right we, we appreciate this, man. We remember back, you you messaged us back in, um, after the after the first episode you were yeah. in, we were like, oh, yeah. I hope this guy comes back. Yeah. We need him to come back. Yeah. And you were like, and yeah. you were like on Twitter even, and you were like, don't worry, Nathaniel's coming back. We were like, oh, so. Yeah, well, the, well, the thing about it is they wanted to bring that character in, I think, episode three, first season. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah. Okay. And and then building from there, but they only had six episodes, right? Right. And right. then the following season, they had what they had. So, you know, we knew, everybody knew he was coming back, you know, that, you know, I signed on to do, you know, the whole nine yards and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was just a matter of getting the audience to, uh, you know, dig the character. I mean, because they really put a lot into it. And yeah. I got to tell you, I didn't read the script until I was on the plane on my way over there. Oh. Uh, because it happened so fast. Yeah. And uh, because they offered it to Wesley Snipes. You guys know that, right? Oh, no. Did not know That's that. That's news actually. to us. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll give you the whole story. When you beat out Wesley it. Snipes. Yeah. And I know Wesley. Wesley's a friend, and I'm a, I'm a fan of, of, of Wesley's work. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the thing of it is, is that I had put myself on tape. I knew I had the job. And uh, I didn't hear anything for four weeks. Oh, oh that's got to be tough. And man. then I got a call one morning, and I was, I was just about, I went to my agent's office because I was auditioning almost every day yeah. for four weeks. And I went to my agent's office. I was going to fire her. And I'm like, man, just go <laughs> home. Just go home. I went out to my buddy's house, who's, who's a director. And we're, we're sitting out there, you know, recording some music and, and drinking Jameson, right? I go home. You know, and I'm laying in bed at 5.30, no, about 4.30 that morning, I get a phone call from Susan Holmes. Come on, I said, I want to get you on a plane to come up to Ireland to do, into the Badlands. <laughs> get the, get the, yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> they called back, no, seriously. I'm like, oh, really? So I was on a plane and on that bridge within a matter of 48 hours. Wow. Shooting that scene. But I didn't read the script until I was on my way over. Yeah. And uh, the thing about that is... Um, the character was so well-rounded and developed that, you know, I should be able to knock this out of the ballpark with a blindfold on, to tell you right, the truth, right. you know, and that, you know, so it, it solely relied on me to, yeah. you know, get that character off the ground. So that's what happened. That's, that's a little fun fact, you know, they Ooh. offered it to Wesley and then, you know, Daniel one day, uh, he goes, yeah, you know, we offered it to Wesley. I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> how far in, how far into the character were you at that point? Oh, it was like, after the first week, he told me because everybody okay. was so everybody was so nice and happy around me, and the whole cast and crew was just great. And then finally, somebody from the crew went, "Man, it, we're glad it's you and not Wesley." I'm like, oh, oh man, wow. you know. And yeah. then later on that day, he goes, "Yeah, man, we offered it to Wesley, but you know, uh, he strung us around." I'm like, it would have been a different show if Wesley was here. Yeah, yeah no, that's true. I'm gonna tell you. I'll tell you this much: we're glad it's you. Yeah. Oh yeah, me, me. <laughs> you me too. I know. Well. You most like of all. Being, yeah. I like being employed. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the best thing. Um, all right, cool. You you want to ask him some some, I have some a, cool I, questions? Yeah, let's get into. I and, to unless wait, hold on. Unless you want to tell us more about the season. Well, <laughs> man, I want I want you so bad because you, I mean you guys are my bros, man, and I want oh. you so bad. I want you so bad. Hey. I said something uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I got a. An email from uh, Latoya, one of the producers, yeah. writers, and she goes, "Boy, you just walked straight up to the line." Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. we don't yeah. want to get you in I'm trouble. Like, we want I'm you to like, come back on our show, so we won't we yeah, won't get yeah, you in exactly. trouble. Tell you what, it, it, yeah. get me fired. Nah. Yeah. All right, let's. Let, we're gonna go the opposite now. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. Mike's, Mike's got it. Mike's got it. I got Chris. Chris and I have spoke about this. Where are the guns in the Badlands? What happened to the weapons? <sighs> right? Will we I'm see? We that we sound right there means. When we go off air, we'll talk about that. All right, okay. All right, all right. Okay. okay. Because okay. If that's what I was alluding to earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, uh, guns, we'll, we'll right? talk about that. Yeah. I would say, you know, you follow, follow the same pattern that uh, they did in Fudo Japan when, you know, how the samurai were pushed out because guns came in. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So... Al and Miles have devised a way to uh, make things interesting for the show, uh, and especially after the next eight, uh, because I know locations are going to be changed. We'll go back to uh, we'll go back to Dublin for a while, yeah. but then we're going to go to. Uh, I understand we're going to go to Madrid. Yeah. 
And uh, it'll be the same format that Paco did when they were doing uh, Penny Dreadful. Oh, wow. When they had to do all when they had to do all the desert stuff. Right. So the next threat that comes in, it's so terrible, right? Uh, and they're they're desert folk oh, that boy. come to town. Of course there are. Why wouldn't there right. be, right? Like, yeah, and they, they want is... they want earth and water. Oh my god, god. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's plenty down there. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That that could lead into the next question. What which one which one is that? Well, He's gonna. All right. Speaking of like the desert and right. and and like you know rubbly stuff. Go ahead, Mike. Ask, ask a question. This is a good one for you. Um, you're running. You're 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 running from Sunny or or you're out in the right. desert. You're, you're, you're out getting in the away. Desert now, right? right. You stumble right. upon an old vehicle. Okay. You okay. hop in to get away or do whatever you have to do. You see a CD player there. What CD oh. is in there? What would you want to hear if you were? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what would Sammy Hagar? Sammy Hagar, I oh. can't drive fifty-five. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now, is that is that I, Sherman or is that Moon? Like, uh, uh. See, I, now, I think that's both, man. I think that's yeah, both. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's both. I think yeah. that's both. I mean, you know, come on. When I drove that Cougar, are you kidding me? Oh right. my God! I used I used to date a girl that had a Cougar, and the only reason why I dated her is her brother gave her that car. Uh, and then she said, you're only with me because of the car. I'm like, yeah. You're like, because yeah, he did well. Everything to that car, right? It wasn't as, it was, it was fast, but not as fast as the one in Dublin. Yeah. And I got to tell you, I'm the only one that can drive that car. Really? No matter if they brought in a stunt driver or whatever, they just couldn't handle the car. Wow. Right? Because I'm used, I'm used to that yeah, car. And I was just yeah, like, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. God I no, love that car. That was per- and perfect for Moon. We were like, perfect. yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just like the costumes, like all that stuff is perfect. And uh, let's we don't, talk we don't about even the want to talk for, about that. Uh, holy cow, man! This season was like, yeah. every, when 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 you're watching a show and you're like, dude, those costumes are like, those are legit. Like those are, yeah. The detail for that stuff is like, and not for only real. that, it's functional. Like it's, for real. it's not just like we're gonna cut a slit up the back just so they can. Like no, it's made. In it's the, made. the in so the you, badlands, it's made so these these people can kill each other. You know, it, it's it's made it's made that way, and it's made tailored to you, yeah. yeah. Only you know, and they can adjust everything. Uh, I'll say this about uh, Giovanni: Giovanni's a genius. He works with you. He will not let you go out in anything unless you're absolutely comfortable in it, and that goes from socks to t-shirts. Wow. Okay. He wants you to be completely comfortable because of all the stuff we have to do: yeah, the yeah, running, yeah. the jumping, all that stuff. And uh, I mean, it's all real material. A lot of that stuff is uh, my, everything that I'm wearing is silk. Every every outfit I have, every stitch of clothing, everything is um, all Italian. Um, it's all Italian garments. Uh, the, the leather is Italian. Ooh. Everything. And you know, I feel bad sometimes getting it dirty. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, oh man, I got to get this dirty. This is jacked up. Yeah. So it, it's just a, that's a trip. Um, I'm the only one that really didn't have a costume change this last season, but I do in the last three episodes or Ooh. two episodes, the last two episodes of, of the next. And it's, I have to say, it's, it's very moony. Hold on. You're it's not, you're not losing, moony. you're not losing the bowler. Tell me you're not losing the bowler. Oh, but I'm going into something even better. All Trust right. Me. All right. Trust so, me. So the bowler is going to be the classic dapper and you're going into new dapper. Trust me. Kill- and then oh. when we go back, when we go back, uh, I'm a, I'm gonna add another feature, you know, oh. it's for slash the the Kurosawa slash you know Sergio Leone thing. Oh, it's gonna be okay. you know yeah yeah. I'm already spinning. I'm already a, thinking. I did a I did a little homage to to the whole thing when uh, the guy uh, when Phil was describing you know uh, the region told me to do this. I said well, what, describe him right. Yeah yeah yeah. And I you know and I you know so you saw what I was doing. Yeah. You know, I was saying to, like, yeah. in my head I was I was. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and then, you know, so yeah. yeah. So there's so, what, little, those little tidbits, you know, we get to throw in every now and then, you know, oh, and uh, you know, to pay homage to to our favorite little things. Yeah, yeah. No, that's our, great, our favorite man. little moments. And we get them all too, which is right. great. Right. That's why. That's again. It's just this, this show is so fun. It, you just yeah. It is. It is a fun show. I mean, it's, it's so fun. It's hard work. Excuse me, but at the end of the day, it's it's fun, and we all love what we're doing. Yeah, we yeah. really do. And and, and absolutely shows that's the beauty yeah. of it that's the beauty and we of it. and we all honestly care for each other i mean that's yeah. all we did i mean sure we all have friends and all that kind of stuff uh over there but mainly we hung out with each other yeah, i mean and there was not one from, from months right? one yeah. knucklehead i mean there was not one knucklehead i mean from cast the crew there was not what we just everybody got along yeah. 
and it's been years since I've experienced anything oh, like that. That's beautiful, though. That's a beautiful you know? thing, man. And, and so we were talking to uh, myself, uh, Lewis, and Allie, and Aramis. We were all together the other night for um, Allie's mom's birthday. Oh, okay. And we just look at each other because everybody's got other little gigs going on right now. Yeah. And it's like it's not like it's not like our family. I'm like, I know, I know, you know. So every it's time so we cool. go around each other, we just you know we're like ah, we get so happy and giddy. It's, it's so cool. That's oh man, that's that's so great to be on that yeah. to, to have yeah. that. That's 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 yeah. that's great. Yeah, and I think it makes it just makes for a better show too. It does, and it just it you know like Orla and I we met years ago on um, American Odyssey, mm -hmm. okay. and we didn't have any scenes together, but it was really good to reconnect. Right. And it just made everything that we needed to because we wanted to make sure that the audience felt that these two people loved each other. Yeah. Period. And yeah. we all love each other as friends and family members. So we wanted to, you know, have that chemistry. It had to have some chemistry. There's nothing worse in the world than to watch two actors and they're doing all this stuff and they have no chemistry. And you just go, what the hell is this? It doesn't right, work. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work. You know, oh, there's yeah. just two actors showing up to work and boo doo 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 that Phoning kind of stuff. Phoning it in, you know? as it were. Phoning it yeah, in. Yeah, yep. Right. Exactly. 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 Um, exactly. You want to do a little, talk a little about The Widow and our, uh, our well, most before, recent... Absolutely. Uh... Before that, I want to ask Moon a <laughs> couple, couple of quick, quick fire, rapid fire questions. Yeah. This might be a two-parter, but who would win, <laughs> Moon or Pilgrim? And I guess we'll addendum that. Moon and Pilgrim before Pilgrim became a god, <laughs> because I don't know. Oh, oh, let me tell you something. Moon, Moon would take it to him. Moon okay. would take it to him. He would take it to him. Trust me. That would be. Such he would a take good it to fight. him. Yeah. Because those would fighting take it to styles him. are very. You're both. You're both big dudes, and like. And you're very. More, like, it's more, more brutal. It's more. Yeah, more like you just slashing kind of thing. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So because of the broadsword, and yeah. um, there's there's a couple of there's a couple of interesting things. Man, there's there's so many interesting <laughs> things that are going to happen in the next eight that I wish I was sitting there to watch your faces because you guys are going to go, oh, no, oh, uh, does no. That, oh, we got to do a live react? I guess we're yeah. going to have to do a live react, yeah, then. Yeah, we're gonna have to do do react then. You got to do a live reaction. You got to do a live reaction, man. It's going to yeah. be, it's going to be epic. Then oh, It's going to change everything. That's it's going to change the landscape of everything and everything that happened before in the Badlands, everything's going to change in the next eight. That's what we everything. want. We want the show to last. And, and that's what, that's what, and, and, and you got, everyone involved knows how to make it, how to change it up enough to make yeah. it last. And that's a They know how to do it. It's, well, here's the thing. You know, when we were getting ready to break for Christmas, mm -hmm. Paco says there's going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> and Orla and I looked at each other and went, huh? This is going to be a bloodbath, guys. Not everybody's going to make it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, and everybody was like, we were all walking around like, <sighs> <laughs> exactly. Is it you? 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 You know, so, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. It's gonna be pretty. Oh it's gonna be pretty interesting. So not everybody's gonna make it out of the next eight. Uh, you, you I'm got, sorry. You got us grinning and also sad at the same time. But, uh, it's, it's yeah, and, and the, the people who did. Video we I know, yeah. yeah. Who and, we, and, who everybody, and everybody, and everybody, and everybody who that happened to, you know, we just even got tighter, yeah. even though they weren't gonna leave. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, whenever they shot that particular scene, everybody was there to the end. Right. But once information started coming out. Yeah. And we were like, oh, damn. Oh, no. I mean, it was it was like, you know, you took the knife. It's like, right. oh, oh yeah, God, you know, yeah, it's yeah, just so. Yeah, it, it, it got pretty heavy. For I, for two weeks, that's all we were talking about. We would get together. Is it you? Is it you? Yeah. Like, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. know. And you can't help it, right? You can't help uh, it. Yeah. But we would always jam up Orla because Orla knows every Because she's from <laughs> Dublin. Yeah, yeah. So you go over Orla's house and Liam Neeson might be sitting there. Oh, oh okay. no way. That's crazy. You know, it's I've walked over, went over to Oilers House, and you just, oh my God, that actress here, oh she's here, oh you know, it's like that all the time. That's or, so cool. You know, this this person that's in state governments over here, I'm like, oh my God, I, I didn't know he ran the studio over here. Oh, I, I just had, oh man, you know, it's <laughs> oh crazy, God. it's yeah. so crazy. But Orla that's finds cool. out all the information, and um, you know, <laughs> so we started finding out because they were really tight with the scripts. Oh yeah. Because you don't get a script, you it, like maybe two days before you start shooting. Right. So you really have to do your homework. So it's two days before you start shooting the, the next block, you'll get a script. And then oh, you wow. go, holy shit, this is, oh, no, oh, no, oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it keeps you on your toes. Wow. It, it's like, it's just like The Walking Dead. They don't, nobody knows when they're going to go. Right, yeah. yeah. Nobody knows. Well, yeah. even now with Game of Thrones, I think the, 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 the script disappears. They don't have yeah. a physical script or anything like that. Yeah, after yeah, everything yeah, is, is yeah. Done. Oh, yeah, you know, the speaking of Game of Thrones, we had a question. For, Mike had a question for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nathaniel Moon has uh, the opportunity to have a, a creature by his side, 
right? Okay. Oh, dire wolf or dragon? Which uh, one? Dire wolf's a dire wolf's a badass. Yeah, no, I know. I always think that too because we always talk. We always spoke about like how badass would it be for even Sunny to have a uh, wolf or some kind wait, of so companion? Sure, right? I'll keep it realistically. I, I would like a dire wolf. <laughs> when do they? Because <laughs> when do they know, add? In, when do they add in companions into the show? How do I feed a dragon? What do I feed a dragon? You know, I can. I dragon can feed. There's out. plenty of cannon fodder on the yeah. in the Badlands, man. There's I know, plenty I know, of cannon then, fodder. You know, you come back. Oh, I forgot. You wanted it extra crispy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, man. No, you know. yeah, dire wolf, man. Yeah, I, I think I would choose a dire wolf too. There's I so, did dire wolf. You know, well, I can just you think the dragon? The dragon probably take pilgrim out pretty quick, don't you think? Exactly, oh, exactly. <laughs> Light his ass on fire unless know, he can protect right? himself in a bubble. Sure. You know, um, unless he can protect himself. <laughs> Another rapid fire. What would it be like if Moon had the gift? How would oh, he... that is interesting because of his uh, loyalty and um, <clears throat> well, if he could, he would probably grow a new hand and still keep the other hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, right. <laughs> he, he, you know, if he had the dark gift, I'm like, grow a hand, homie. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Um, I think I think he would wield his power uh, righteously. I don't think he would do anything uh, necess- evil or or anything of that nature or, or to hurt anybody with it. Um, I think he would probably become more of a, uh, he probably would roam the countryside just righting the wrongs uh, yeah. uh, for folks. Yeah. You know, how, how do you feel personally. the widow would be with, with the gift? Yeah, so that's part of our theory. Like, So we're going to bring you into the theory for a second. Okay, bring me what into do you, the theory. What do you think would happen if the widow gets her power back? It's like, because you know, we just did a video where we were like, would it be good or not good? Would, would she have she, to earn it? Would she have you know, to is earn it? Just it? Something that you know. I, I tell you what. See, a purely lot of people theory, get everything. Purely theory. Yeah. I think a lot of people get uh, the widow and and Lydia, kind of. Uh, I think they peg them kind of wrong. I okay. think with the widow, she wants to do good, but she has this this hard exterior. So she's it, Emily's good at not letting you read her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's really good, but Emily is. So funny, yeah, and so over the top. Now I'll tell you about when she stole the the shit emoji from the theater. I'll tell you about that. <laughs> okay. uh, so she's really good at that. I think, I think she would use her power sparingly. I think the reason why she lost her gift in the first place is because she didn't know how to unlock his power for the proper good. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah, I yeah. think so, because she was handling so much other stuff. And it right. makes her look like she's always evil. Same thing with Lydia. It, it seems like if Lydia had it, you know, would she stab somebody in the back? But Lydia's always thinking six, seven oh, moves yeah. ahead, which I had to figure out. You know, I was like, OK, so I get it. You're, you're always thinking five, six, seven steps ahead. Yeah. You know, because there's a lot of times we would all get together and just break down stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I would break down my character for them. You know, that's how we, you know. We, we, we had several moments at dinner where we all did that just to help us oh, yeah. um, cool. for those real moments when we needed to have those real moments. And I'm glad that Emily is able to just shut herself off. And it's always in her eyes. Yeah. It's always in her eyes, you know, that when, when she's, she can be goofy one moment and then when she turns on the widow, she's the widow for <laughs> yeah. real. And it's scary. That's it's so- scary. Yeah. It's scary. And then afterwards she goes, wow, well, charms. Charms. <laughs> it's so funny. That's She's gotta so be funny. so. That's so cool, it's, man. It's, it's a trip. Yeah. So we all went one night. We all went to go see um, Atomic Blonde. Okay. We all went to see Atomic Blonde, right? It was it was a couple of the stunt folks and uh, myself, Orla, and and Emily, and and it was just all of us. You know, we all just we all just went. And so after the movie, we go downstairs, and the Emoji Movie was coming out, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> It's so funny. So Orla, Emily, and Allie were standing there, and they were just laughing their butts off. Mm-hmm. And so I come down the stairs, and Emily has the shit emoji. Or can I say shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The boo-boo emoji in her yeah. hand. That's and I go, hey, guys, you know uh, Patrick Stewart? He's the voice of uh, the, that emoji. And I said it like three times. They weren't even paying attention. And finally, they all looked at me like, shut up, okay? Because we're in the lobby. And so Emily goes, we should nick it for our flat. <laughs> right. And Allie, because Allie and Emily shared a uh, an apartment together. Okay. And Allie goes, yeah, 
do it. And then Ola's like, really, really? You're going to do it? Do it. Right? Real. They were like, they turned into these little yeah. munchkins, man. Yeah. And they walked right out of the theater with it, and they're cracking up. So Daniel and everybody are standing outside. So they're explaining that she just stole, she just walked out of the theater with the, the, the emoji. Yeah. Right? And Daniel goes, obviously, you never stole anything before because you're supposed <laughs> to keep going. Right? Yeah. She's just standing so, there. Yeah, she's just standing there in front of the theater. So everybody takes off, right? And so they take off. And I walk back by the theater, and the manager and one of the, uh, the young lady that was working the snack bar, they were watching the, the playback on the monitor as I walk by and they see me standing there talking to them and I walk by and they look at me and I'm like hey I didn't steal it dude don't, don't come at me don't, don't come at me yeah they're gonna ask me for the, for the, yeah, though, the cash, I don't know right? those folks even though I was talking to them I don't know Sir. yeah it was so funny so she yeah she stole that thing and I think it's they left it there they left it there they, they left it right there in the press every time you go over to their house it's right there in the living room Oh, and it, was, it looked perfect. It was right by the fireplace. Oh, that's it was right perfect. It was, it was so cool. It. Yeah. it was so cool, you know? It was so cool. It was sitting oh, right there. Every so time crazy. we go over, it's like, hey, you know? <laughs> that's so funny, man. That is so cool. That's great to hear that stuff. Yeah. What, what, else, what else we got? We're going to wrap it wrap, what, uh, uh, Yeah, man. Yeah, I guess we can wrap it up. I mean, He's given us so much time, you've, right? you've, Yeah, you've, you've, please, man. You've given us. Oh, you've, please. Please. I wish I could give you guys more. Man. I'm I mean, looking you know, at. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We're, uh, oh, I got one. Well, I got a couple things give for him, you. Give him that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's let's um. Oh, what are you gonna say? Didn't he play a little character on a little show back in the day? Oh, what was that um, character? I believe his little is mur- murder. Oh no. Murder, oh, no. murder oh, she wrote. Oh, murder little, she wrote. I think. Oh man. Little Officer oh, Rossi. Man. <laughs> oh man now you guys was, are getting nasty that's right? so bad that's no I, I enjoyed that's it angela, An- angela lansbury was a trooper yeah she was great that was that was a good episode it was myself phil morris uh kevin sorbo uh that's that right a, sorbo that's right yeah that was that was a, that was a whole thing about silicon valley and you know yeah, it, was, yeah. it was it was, was kind of cool man you know right. it was it was kind of cool because that was one of my first big tv gigs and it was just really funny because I was uh, I had to go take notes and I pulled out the uh, the stick ons and they were the, the kind of like the accordion stick on things. Yeah, and so yeah. camera's <laughs> on me and it goes do and I'm like, they're not using that, right? Yeah. Oh boy, I felt like a goof. And then my uh, my gun fell out of the holster. Right, we're in the scene, right, the big scene with all of us. Yeah. And I go in, freeze, my do do do. I mean, I felt like a dunce that day. I was like, oh, oh dude, you got to pull it together. Please, <laughs> please pull it together, man. But that was a really good show to do. I, I was always a fan of that show. And, yeah, and yeah. Angela Lansbury, is just, she was just fantastic and yeah. just learned a lot by yeah. watching her. I learned a lot by watching a lot of actors. Uh, I learned a lot by watching James Gandolfini, Brad Pitt, of course, Julia Roberts. I learned a lot, really learned a lot watching uh, Ed Harris, two seasons, the first season of... Uh, of uh, of um, of uh, what the hell is that show? Westworld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that show. Just a little show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that little bitty show. Um, yeah, that was that was interesting. I mean, it was, it was hot as I don't know what. We were shooting way out in uh, Santa Clarita, where it's just nothing but desert. And I remember uh, asking uh, Ed, "Hey, man, you okay?" Because we were just down in water like crazy. Yeah. And she's just sweating a lot. He goes, "Hey, man, I'm not in it unless I'm sweating." You know, I'm like, ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. And he was he was just always, you know, and I'm an Ed Harris fan, you know. Yeah, he was just, of course. you know, and I just, I've been fortunate and lucky, thank God, to work with some of the best A-list actors in the business. And, yeah. you know, it's just, it's always an incredible moment to just watch and, you know, just pick up the professionalism that they do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because especially if they've been around and you see how they them. treat people and, and, and people treat them. It's always, it's always refreshing oh, yeah. and wonderful to see that because everything, you know, Everything that comes after that, you know, if you're doing your work like this thing, this is a great byproduct of doing good work. And I appreciate you yeah. guys for that. Well, I really, well, really, really well, do. Because that's what on. keeps me motivated. It's not about I'm in Hollywood or I'm an actor or this and that. No, it's just a job. I'm punching yeah. the clock. Yeah. I'm punching the clock. There's moments, mornings when you get up and you go, man, I got to go to work today. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And you see how beautiful it is outside or whatever. You go, dude, I can go do this. I can go do that. You know, but I got to go to work. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. You know? <laughs> But then you get to go. Then you get to go. You know, kick someone's head off. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But, it's a little you know, perspective, you know, right? Yeah, you know, this is the best job in the world. I'm yeah. knocking, I'm literally knocking folks' heads off. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Guts That's and blood. So Hell cool. yeah. You know, it's so funny. Sure, I mean, again, you, you, 
man, th- th- you you are good at this, man. I'm telling you, you you oh, read man, our minds you guys. right to Westworld. When when can we see Marshall Pruitt again? Uh, you know what they said they were going to bring the guy back. Yeah, okay. They said that, so you know, um, I didn't put anything into it because, um, because I know the casting director very well. You know, yeah, they could reach out to him anytime to to John, but. Uh, I think right now, for me, I do know right now, my, my loyalties are to, to Badlands. Yeah, yeah. I really, really want to see this show uh, gain the respect. And he has the respect of everything right now. It, yeah, it yeah. does. Oh, yeah. But um, I know for sure that the, our network is proud of the show. Yeah. You know, but it has its own built-in audience. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the reason why, you know, things are going the way it, it's going for the show right now. It's because... Yeah. Uh, they know we have diehard fans and they know our fans love the show. And so I know our show is going to be around a long time. Yeah. Uh, and maybe the exposure, the exposure that we get from you guys, mm-hmm. it's, is far more that it, it exceeds far more than what AMC or anybody else can do, you know, because <laughs> it's, it's because of people like you guys that keeps shows on the air. I'm honestly, you know, yeah. it's not about entertainment tonight over here, or this or that, or da, da, da. It's not about that. It's about what you guys are doing. It's so important. Trust me. Yeah. AMC is going to watch this. Oh, trust me. Wow. Oh, no, no pressure. They, <laughs> no pressure. They're going to watch. That's what I was saying. I, I sent you guys a note one time saying, "Oh, and AMC knows that." Yeah. It was yeah. something that yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We yeah. caught that. So, <laughs> we caught that. So every yeah, everything that you guys are doing, they're everything that you guys are doing, they're watching it. They're they're watching it. They're watching. You, they watch your show. They get it. That's they cool, man. It. We. You know they have yeah. That that's why we do it because it. it there's a lot of stuff on TV and we watch a lot of things and, and, and I'm sure you know, we've, I've said it so many times on our show, like shows like Badlands, shows like uh, Leftovers, Westworld. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a Leftover I'm a leftover fan, dude. I'm a, I was a Leftover, I'm a Leftover fan. I was a Penny Dreadful fan, Badlands yeah. fan. I mean, yeah. again, our, our sensibility to film and television is the same, you yeah. know? And yeah. that's one of the main reasons why I reached out to you guys, you know, is because, you know, because I have two of my best friends are film critics. Yeah. Oh, cool. You know. Yeah. So you know that's what we do all the time. Yeah. Know? So yeah. And, yeah, and yeah, I and I, yeah. and I listen to them talk about certain things, and you know, uh, I definitely know when you know if if a film is coming out and they don't get invited to the premiere or a screening, yeah. they know that they're brutally honest and they're mm-hmm. not going to give. And, this, they and want, people, yeah. they yeah, have a well. podcast. They're they're members of the uh, Los Angeles Film Critics Association. Right. They're very powerful people, and yeah. they avoid sometimes studios avoid them like the plague. Oh. Seriously, yeah, yeah that's it's, it, it's, it it's a shame. But you know what? But then it is. But they, but they get to get their word out via the wonderful yeah. thing we call the internet, anyway. So exactly, like, exactly, has their yeah. opinions. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Well, listen, we could have you here for seven hours. <laughs> I, you know, dude, we dude, could. I, we tell could, me about it. Well, yeah. we got to do. We got to do it again. And and definitely, once I find out find out more information on the next eight, the back eight, I'll let you guys know. I'll send you a note that's and awesome. let you guys know. Uh, because we're all curious and ready to go. Because I want to see yeah. my other two friends that just joined the cast. I want to see, I, I want to see how you guys reacted because it's just going to be way till you see. You're going to be what, and especially episode 16. Oh my god! 14, we're, 15, we're and 16 is we're just, excited. it's just. If that ain't some you know, sizzle, I don't know right? what is, man. Right? I'm telling you, yeah, no. it's bananas. Trust me. Okay. It's, yeah. It's we, going we will to change take the you game. Your word. Yeah, we, we, we believe oh, you. We believe it's good. The, the fights get amped up, a lot more blood, a yeah. lot more guts, and then you're going to start seeing, you know, people that you wouldn't think. You know, it's just going to be like, oh, that's the dream team right there, yeah. son. Yeah, it's going to no, be crazy. Wow. It's going to be crazy. Can't wait, and we know you that. guys can't wait. Absolutely, um, Sherman. I don't want to wrap it up, but we're going to wrap this episode up, Sherman. He's going to be back. Don't worry, guys. He'll be back. We're going to have him I'll on again. Back. We're going to hang I'll out. Be back. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you Thank being you. here. I'm sure everyone Thank watching guys, is flipping out going, oh, he's on our favorite podcast. This is great. So uh, It's once... my favorite podcast. Too. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. So once again, Sherman Augustus, uh, the incomparable. Thank you so much, my man. You are awesome. And uh, d- d- keep up the good work. Tell everyone that we oh. said here at Third Person, just – Keep doing what you're doing because it's it's fantastic. It's one of the best shows on TV. It's our favorite show. 
and we just can't wait. So we're, we're super we'll excited. Do. So thank you, we'll do. And thank, thank you, you guys. So thank you so much, guys. Yeah, no, anytime, absolutely. anytime you guys just want to chit chat or whatever, man, hit me up, man. Oh, hit okay, you got we'll it. Okay, you, <laughs> you got it for real. For absolutely, real. Okay. absolutely, Mike. And take us out, man. Where can they reach us? Of course, you can reach us at Third Person Podcast on YouTube. Right in the comments below, especially for this video, I'm sure Better. we're gonna get a. A boatload of those. Check us out at Instagram. Show up at their house. That's right. right. <laughs> Instagram and uh, Facebook, Third Person Pod. And have a listen to us on iTunes. You can have a listen to this uh, this video right now. That's right. Sherman, where can they get you at on anything? Where can they get you? Uh, they can reach me on Twitter, you know, at Sherman Agus 2 because somebody else had Augustus, uh. so I don't know why Twitter did that to uh-huh. sucker MCs in the place to be. <laughs> yep. And uh, Sherman Gus uh, on um, Instagram and Facebook. I'm, I'm right there. I hang out. I hang out there all day long. Awesome. Hanging out. (laughs) Just hanging out. Just waiting. Just waiting. (laughs) Just waiting. Just waiting. 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 Ordering food in. Just waiting. Yeah, yeah. Hanging out with Liam Neeson's. It's great. It's (laughs) fine. You're just walking. Oh, Liam, how you doing, man? Yeah, okay. (laughs) Just check my Instagram. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, that's it, guys. We will definitely see you on the next episode for Into the Badlands. All right. Peace. If you miss the 80s like I do, then head over to the Retro Squat YouTube channel where the 80s are alive and kicking, or click one of those videos. And if for some reason you missed part one of this awesome interview with Sherman Augustus, click right there.